I'll start the video in a minute. I'm having my dessert right now. Greetings one and all and welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. I cannot wait until the new month starts because that means I can do my next bargain bag. Yes, a bargain bag is perhaps my favorite feature to do as I've mentioned before because I just cannot wait to go jumping into these bags to see what's in them, you know. I, I've got a huge back stock of them and so I'm I'm af always afraid that I'm going to just rip into them and use them up too quickly before, you know, before the next video. So anyway, Bargain Bag is my monthly hunt for buried audio treasures in the form of two mystery CD grab bags from the late Skips Records and CD World. In between the two opening of the two bags, I talk about a CD that I have found or that you might be likely to find in the bargain CD section of a retailer near you. But before any of that, I talk about the albums that I unearthed in last month's pair of bargain bags, which in the case of this month is going to go by pretty quickly here. Uh, let's just jump right into them, shall we? The, the first two are actually Christmas albums that I have not listened to yet. Um, you may know the routine by now. Whenever I get Christmas albums, I only like to listen to holiday music uh, when the holiday season starts, you know, which I consider to be after Thanksgiving. If I listen to Christmas mu music before Thanksgiving, I run the risk of getting completely sick of it. So yes, uh, these two titles, uh, they're actually still sealed in their plastic. These will wait until... I'm probably going to do a special holiday ed edition of Bargain Bag because with these I've got at least seven stacked up so I will have enough to do a bulk review of Christmas CDs if you will. So yes, uh, Northwest of December by Don Latarski. Uh, he is a local uh, guitar, instrumental guitar artist. And My Holiday by Mindy Smith. Those are the two holiday CDs in question. So <clears throat> stay tuned until the month of December when you hear, uh, when you watch my holiday bargain bag. That's what I'm calling Holiday Stocking Stuffer. That's a good title. Anyway, uh, this next bunch, which is nearly half of the uh, Bargain Bag CDs that I opened last month, are Christian CDs. So this is going to go by very, very quickly. Um, most of them I didn't bother listening to, and the rest of them were, well, just kind of what I figured they were. Um, Northwestern Sunshine here by Arms of Mercy. We have uh, Addicted to Jesus by Carman. Uh, I don't know, um, uh, Garrett, you might want that because you're into Spanish language music. So, Although these, the songs on this CD are uh, in English, but hey, if, if he's a Latin artist, maybe you'll want it. Let me know. Oh, and I always keep forgetting to mention this before I go any further. If you guys want any of the cast-off CDs that I'm talking about here uh, in this in each month's bargain bag, let me know and we can work out. I can work out sending them to you. Um, Three CDs or less, uh, I'll probably send you for free if you live in the States with, you know, not asking for postage. But if there are more than three CDs or if you live outside the States, I'm probably going to have to charge you po for postage just because, well, you know, postage costs a lot these days. So anyway, on with the list. Uh, the Neelands, or Nillans, I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, their album, A New Generation. And we have a double CD by Buddy Lyles. Um, I'm going back to the chapel, and thanks, friends. Okay. And then we have... Uh, White River with their album Rodeo Preacher, and then uh, Quiet Time, a double instrumental worship album. So, and I think Garrett, you said you were thinking about uh, wanting this one. So, uh, if you want it, let me know. Or if anybody else wants any of these Christian CDs, let me know. I have a, a few more, actually four more cast-offs. I've got two keepers today, which uh, in this month's bag. Uh, one of which will be my spotlight review. It'll be coming up later on, so I'm only going to mention five more before I go diving into the first grab bag. Uh, these next two are singles. Uh, this one is by a group called The Hoosiers. I had never heard of them before. Uh, basically, you know, alternative rock, pretty much. And what's kind of interesting about this one is they actually, this is actually a double disc case. They enclosed two copies of the same CD. One to give to a friend was the idea behind it, as the, the hype, hype sticker actually said on the, uh, on the wrapper. So interesting concept, I guess. Then we have uh, Darden Smith, who I had heard of before but never listened to. Uh, this was a, his single, Midnight Train. Eh, that was alright. It's kind of singer-songwriter-ish stuff. You know, not my thing, you know. Then we have Sleezer, a rock band. It's actually a, uh, I believe, a, a family rock band, or the, or the name of the band is the front man's last name. That's basically it. So, And yeah, alt-rock, and this was a kind of a self-released Thing. Yeah, copyright 2006, John Sleezer. So, yeah. 
again, nothing really uh, ear grabbing for me. And then we have one hip hop album. Uh, well, one of them that I'm casting off anyway. Socialistic is the name of the artist, I believe, and Ghetto Guerrilla Tactics is the name of the album. Yeah, it's, you know, decent hip hop, but just, you know, not my thing. Hip hop has to be really, really something special for me to, to get it. But then uh, the one, well, the one keeper that I am not doing as my spotlight album is uh, Euro pop stuff. Uh, Sonic Dream Collective is the name of this uh, artist. And it's, I suppose you could say it is very, you know, your very basic standard Euro pop synth pop stuff from the late 90s, 1997. So yeah, probably not anything particularly ear grabbing, but I liked it enough. It was uh, you know in ear candy enough that I'm going to hang on to it and listen to it a little bit more. Gravity is the name of the album. So here we go. And the final disc, which uh, those of you who uh, have a good memory and remember what uh, is missing from this stack are going to be very curious and very surprised and amused by what my spotlight review is going to be this month. So, but for now. Let's dive into the first of the two mystery CD grab bags. My favorite time of month, I'm telling you. And let's see. Let me give you a little peekaboo after what's inside. I kind of like when, since I've started doing this, giving you guys a little peek at what's inside. So you get to see what's here before I do. And let's take a look. This one, Brother Eye, is the name of the band, I guess. Soap Dish Antennae is the name of the album, I think. Oh yeah, produced by Dave uh, Fridman and Brother I. So Brother I is the name of the band, and Soap Dish Antennae is the name of the album. Very, it looks like yeah, an early 90s kind of uh, alt rock pop stuff. Could be interesting. Let me have, hmm. Oh, I had this one a long, long time ago, but I, it uh, left my collection in one of my CD purges. Uh, cool for August is the name of the band, and Grand World is the name of the album. And this was, if, if I recall correctly, it has been ages and ages since I listened to this. Uh, I think, I believe it's pretty much alternative rock from the late 90s, 97. So it'll be interesting to listen to it one more time and see if I might change my mind and give it another chance in my CD library. We have Presence with, I believe, yeah, produced by Presence, so it's a self-produced album. The name of the album is Inside. I would imagine it's probably alt rock. It's kind of what it looks like, doesn't it? Uh, 1993. So uh, we've, we've got a 90s bag here, don't we? So, and then oh, the Thompson Brothers Band, not to be confused with the Thompson Twins. Cows on Main Street is the name of the album. <laughs> that could be an interesting. Oh, it's it's more of an EP. It's only got six tracks on it. So, uh, hey, when a band names it, names its album Cows on Main Street. I, how can I not listen to it? My curiosity is peaked, as they say. And this was sticking to my hand. It's apparently that CD was number three. And we have a CD whose cellophane wrapper is uh, flying off here. Oh no, it's a different cellophane wrapper. Uh, Beggars, and it looks like looks to be the self-titled album by a band called Beggars. Never heard of them before, as is the case with. Most of the stuff in here, 1995. So yes, this is definitely the 90s bag. And this CD was apparently CD number one. Their numbering scheme is a mystery to me. Anyway, hmm. what do we have here? Oh, it's a band with accordions. So you know they're just going to rock, don't you? Anyway, uh, hey, I like Weird Al. So hey, I'm, I'm not anti-accordion. I just was making an amusing comment. Uh, the Seventh Avenue Band, Joe, Joe, and Joe. The name's the same. Obviously, apparently they're all named Joe. So that could be interesting. I would imagine it's probably a. Oh yeah, it, it, it's a polka album. So hey, why not? polka never killed anybody, did it? Not that I know of. And anyway, the last album in this bag is. Julia Darling. I have never heard of her. Uh, I believe her album Figure Eight, 1999. It's uh, from Wind Up Records, the Wind Up label. And we'll definitely uh, be interested to hear that.
Okay, it is time for my bargain bag spotlight CD review. Are you ready for this? Probably not, but let's do this anyway. Uh, if you have a good memory, you might remember the one CD that was missing from my wrap-up at the beginning of this. It was the last CD that I unearthed in last month's bargain bag. It was pretty much the perfect punchline for the video. I don't know how it timed that way, but it just happened to be the last CD from the last bag that I opened up, much like the single from which it was derived. Uh, sometime last year in one of my last year bargain bags. It was just an absolute crack up. It was hilarious. It it stole the show. And yes, uh, oh, and Noah is actually the one that suggested me reviewing this album. I sometimes have a hard time finding um, the right spotlight album to talk about in uh, bargain bag. I, I, I want to pick something from my catalog that is uh, easily found or has been my experience that is easily found in bargain bins of, uh, you know, CD or, or music retailers or discount stores or whatever, so that, so that it can be something that you guys would find easily if, if it sounds good to you, you know. Uh, but this one, you know, I, when Noah suggested it, and actually I talk, spoke to uh, another friend about this, and he seemed to agree that it was a darn good idea to do this, um, I decided to go ahead and do it. I put off the one that I was going to do this month for next month's bargain bag, so, uh, you know, just to get a little more mileage so I don't have to uh, think about the next one quite so soon. So yes, uh, I guess without further ado, let's take a look at the Spotlight album for this month. It is The Booty Snatches with Invasion of the Booty Snatches. And so yes, to, to your shock and horror and amusement, I'm going to talk about this album. And it also may shock you or befuddle you to realize that, and I am not saying this ironically or anything, this is actually not a bad album. Seriously. I mean, the lyrical content, well, I mean, if you look at the cover art, I mean, that, that kind of... Uh, that's basically the overriding theme of the lyrics. I don't know if I really listened, heard anything necessarily sexist or misogynistic. I mean, I, I'm of an older, older generation, so I don't really have the best barometer for that, I will admit. But, uh, you know, sexually suggestive, yes. And, uh, you know, I mean, let's face it, this ain't, uh, you know, Shakespeare or Dylan or even Kendrick Lamar. Uh, you know, this lyrics aside, though, some of the grooves on this album are actually pretty darn good. Honestly, so yeah, if I had a purely instrumental album of this, I would definitely keep... I mean, I'm probably still going to keep this just for the amusement value. And, you know, if I want to put on some good, you know, instrumental grooves once in a while, I can pretty much ignore the lyrics. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the one single that uh, you saw, the CD single, as I said in a Bargain Bag last year, Twirled At, is... Uh, it only appears in... Actually, it, it appears in two versions, basically. It, you know, the self-titled one and Snatch and Booty, the remix. Uh, you know, the, the song by itself isn't bad. It's when you've got five or six remixes in, an, in a maxi single or something. It wears out very, very quickly. But, you know, when it's by itself in the co greater context of a full album, it's not bad. And, you know, of, of course, you know, especially, as I said, putting the lyrics aside. So, but yeah, and uh, let's see if I can remember some of the... Uh, Give Me What You Got, I think, was one of the better grooves on the album. And actually, that one was uh, pretty much lyrically neutral, I guess you'd say. And We Like to Party, I think, was another one. And uh, Where's the Party At, I think, was another one. It's got a, a really good groove, as I said. So, yeah, sexually suggestive lyrics don't really... They don't usually offend me at all. I mean, they have to be really, really raunchy to offend me. It's just, you know, they just... They get old with me very, very quickly. I get bored of them really quickly. So, uh, you know, as I said, lyrics aside... This is not, it's honestly not a bad album. It surprised me at how not bad it was. So, you know, I'm going to hang on to it at least for a little while. And, well, if I get tired of it, I guess, Noah, you're going to expect this uh, in the mail. So, uh, hey, why not? Uh, especially when it was, you know, what did I figure that these CDs cost per bargain bag? Uh, you know, back when Skip was doing his uh, going out of business, business sale, like 17 cents a piece, I think, was the, the net price of these CDs. So... If you're paying 17 cents for a CD, how can you complain, right? So, but anyway, uh, enough enough time spent on that. Wasted on that. Yeah, so, so yes, um, yes. Noah was to either to thank or to blame, depending on your perspective, for uh, me reviewing that album. So, yes, without further ado, let's get into the last of the two bags this month. And Peekaboo ICU. So, let's see what's in here. We have another CD with a cow on it, on the back cover this time. Hell Upside Down, The Bovine Years. Okay. Uh, and as is the case with some of these CDs, I am at a complete loss. I 
I have no idea what it's going to sound like. Could be interesting. And then we have Eileen Hemphill Haley with her album Ease World. Uh, looks like a self-produced thing. Uh, oh yeah, Eugene, Oregon. So she is or was a local artist. And 1996 is when the uh, album was released. So she kind of looks like maybe a folk artist, possibly world music inspired, so judging by the uh, imagery on the check. And what do we have? We have Dutch Henry with his album 1973. Honestly, have no idea what to think of that one. And, um, Imagery is kind of uh, ambiguous. And we have very, very, very contemporary. This is a single or maxi single. Heart Attack presents very contemporary. You got me. I'm assuming Heart Attack is the name of the group. And very contemporary is the name of the song because it's just got uh, the various mixes are, is what's on the track list. So don't see that as being one of my keepers, but you never know. Hey, look at the booty snatches, right? Uh, and then we have Hillbilly Holocaust. I actually like the name of that group. That That's a cool name for a group, honest, I will admit. And the name of the album is Analog. And uh, looks like a, yet another self-released album. 2001 was when that one was. And we have Christy Hines with her album Into the Fray. Her name sounds vaguely familiar, but it's probably not. It probably just sounds like another name I know. But uh, yeah. this, the, the front cover makes it kind of look like it's possibly a uh, throwback swing, like maybe the uh, Stray Cats or, or Brian Setzer, possibly. So, then we have the last CD in this bag, The Hippie Nuts. Uh, let's see, and uh, the album is called Hardcore Mellow Driven. Could be fun to listen to. Sandpile Records. It's an indie label based out of New York. So, yeah. Well, that is an interesting pair of bargain bags. A whole bunch of stuff that I have never heard of. Uh, most of the stuff on the first bag was off of major labels, actually, and uh, most of the stuff in the second bag was out of indie labels. So, nice little mix there. So, I will, of course, as always, have fun listening to those bargain bag CDs. Uh, that's what I love about this feature. You, you never know what you're going to happen upon. I could have one of my new favorite albums in here. Look at the booty snatches. Anyway, that will do it for the bargain bag for the month of June 2020. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Suggestions, questions, constructive criticisms, lay them on me in the comments section below. Also, scroll out down to the description for the link to my Twitter and Instagram feeds, and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and browse my past videos, and be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.